Israelis continue to protest on the streets of Jerusalem. People gathered outside Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's residence to voice their concern against his handling of the coronavirus crisis and alleged corruption. Scuffles also broke out soon between the protesters and the police. The security force used water cannons to disperse off protesters and used batons to beat up a few. Reports suggest that many people have also been arrested as they refused to leave the area. The Israelis have been taking to the streets for weeks now. Many are calling for Netanyahu's immediate resignation due to his incompetence. People are demanding a financial and medical aid from the government to keep themselves afloat. Protesters this week have also slammed a newly passed law that gives the Israeli government special powers to fight the spread of the virus until the end of 2021. The public anger has been fueled by corruption charges against Netanyahu, who went on trial this May. He is charged with fraud, breach of trust and accepting bribes in a series of scandals. Netanyahu has denied all charges laid against him. He is the first Israeli Prime Minister to stand a trial while being in office. Protesting not against somebody specific, although our Prime Minister, Bibi, Benjamin Netanyahu, is just a symptom of the problem. What we're trying to say is protesting against the whole system, the whole regime that is ignoring us, that is not letting us expressing ourselves, that's calling us anarchy. Recently, the Israeli government reimposed measures to curb the virus after witnessing a massive spike in the cases. The country topped 60,000 COVID-19 cases this week. On papers, the Netanyahu government has also introduced several economic stimulus packages. But protesters say that due to the prevalent red tapism and corruption, the aid is coming much later and much lesser than what was announced. I mean, we're losing here. Everybody's sitting at home, like I said before, and not making money. Although someone that has stolen millions from us is again not going to jail, not facing charges, we need justice. We just got from him 750 shekels possibly. I wonder if that actually fits him for one day for the amount that he shows his spending. So it's ridiculous. So yes, money. Money is a mover. It may move people. Israel was one of the first countries to impose a nationwide lockdown and at first it was successful in clamping down the outbreak. Daily cases that numbered in the hundreds dropped to low double digits, but concerned about the economy's tanking, critics say that the government eased those restrictions too quickly.